Absolutely, David and Glenda. We're talking about a teenager who just went to prom last year. He had a job and was planning on going to college soon, but at that gas station, one bullet ended everything. It's still unreal. When I say a good child, a good child. The family of Latale Garrett talking about their unbelievable loss. 18 year old Latale was shot and killed Saturday night at this gas station on East 7 Mile and Outer Drive. Police say his killer was trying to steal his Cartier glasses. Latale's family says he worked long hours to buy them two years ago. He was 18 years old for some glasses. And that's what I'm just personally not understanding. And like, I could see if he would have put up a fight or anything or this and that, watched my brother literally. No fight, no nothing. That's what they say, no anything. Like, he's not even the type of person to put up a fight for. Like, we have bombed some old glasses. Like, come on. Detroit police released this surveillance video of the shooting suspect getting out of a red cobalt, where Tony's been arrested, but the search is on for three other persons of interest, including these two young men who may have information about the murder of Lateo, who graduated from high school last year and was working and planning to attend college soon to study business management. His little brother, Michael. It's a horrible thing to feel when you lost a brother or a mom or anyone in the family. He was everything that y'all hearing about him. He was a good kid. He didn't deserve this. He would have gave them glasses up. He would have gave them up. He didn't have to get shot. Latale's family hoping someone helps police locate the other young men they're looking for. They did the job. We just got three more to get. Just get to talk to him. Like, y'all know some. This, this is a little boy. Had his whole life ahead of him. And I think with the faith that we have, it's going to all work out. So if you have any information in the case, you're urged to call Detroit police, or you can also call Crime Stoppers and remain 100% anonymous. The family has also set up a GoFundMe to cover Latale's funeral. If you'd like to help, we'll have a link on WXYZ.com. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.